Hello and welcome to the demo where we'll be seeing how to create an Amazon EC2 instance and installing Elasticsearch on it. So uh, let us begin. First browse to uh, aws.amazon.com and sign into the console. New user please click here and proceed with the simple instructions in order to create your new account. If you are returning user, enter your email id and your password and sign in. Under services, select EC2. Launch instance. Select free tier only uh, in order to avoid billing. I will choose Ubuntu. All these steps and to the final review, I am choosing all the default values. So you can go ahead and configure your instant details. As of now, I am just keeping it as default. Storage, I am keeping it default values, not touching it here. Tag instance, also leaving it alone. Configure security group. Uh, it is it will create a new security group if you create a new instance but I have already created a security group which has uh, which I have configured for the admin rights so I'm going to choose this and the final step is to review it and yeah launch I have already created a key pair that's named Muhammad so I will be using that and launch okay your ec2 instance has been launched successfully let us view our instance as you see here it is getting ready and this is the ip address with the public ip address to access this instance we will be needing this ip address as you see the status has been changed from pending to running so let us open Putty, copy, uh, paste the IP address and let the port be 22. Uh, go to SSH auth and browse for the private key which you have created using Keygen. I have placed it on the desktop so I will choose that and the username for Ubuntu is Ubuntu. And I would open it. And this is for click yes. And here you go. This this is your Ubuntu instance created. Now how to install Elasticsearch on it? Before installing Elasticsearch, we have to install Java. So let, let us follow these steps. I'll simply copy and paste them. It's this step is to check if Java is already installed or not. Uh, as we have created new instance, it does not have Java in it, but still let's check in it. See, it does. It says it does not have it. So let us go ahead and install Java. Copy this. Press yes. Our next step would be to install Elasticsearch uh, we are going to follow these steps to install Elasticsearch let me copy them ok as you see the java is installed let us have a quick let us check this quickly so we have installed java version 1.7 so let us go ahead and install Elasticsearch now First step has been executed. The second step, and finally, while it gets installed, let us open uh, our win scp which is a file transfer so 
So let us copy and paste all the credentials. Port would be 22, username is Ubuntu and go to advance and authentication, browse for the private key. and login yes here is our EC2 instance as you see it it got installed let us see where it got installed it gets installed in user uh, share Elasticsearch See the bin folder is here so let us go ahead and start the service so the code for it is sudo service elastic search start and as you can see the service has been started in order to check if it is running or not let us do a curl command sudo minus x get HTTP localhost colon 9200 is the default port of Elasticsearch and that's it as you can see Elasticsearch has been installed we can also create an index under Elasticsearch just do a put command and the name of the index would be my underscore index so acknowledge equal to 2 let us go ahead and check here is your index my index as you can see there is nothing uh, in it as of now we can go ahead and start creating uh, start populating this index with our data. So this is a demo to how to install Elasticsearch. Now let us explore the CloudWatch. Go ahead and cl right click your instance and under CloudWatch monitoring click enable. I have already enabled it. You can see uh, multiple metrics under the CloudWatch. If you click on one of the metrics you can see the CloudWatch monitoring details you can go ahead and uh, change the timeline you can choose for last three hours the graph seems to be like this uh, you can also explore similarly there are other metrics like discrete discrete operation discrete write operation networks and bytes and many more you can go ahead and explore them uh, and get to know more about your instance uh, you can also click on view all which leads to a new page where you can create dashboards for your cloud watch you can see all the metrics are over here and here you can create the dashboards uh, for your metrics so this is a demo of how to create your EC2 instance install Elasticsearch and how to play around with CloudWatch. Thank you.